Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens and this morning I'm flying on Singapore Airlines from Singapore to Bangkok and I'm gonna give you a full review, share with you the flight and especially show you the food on the flight. Our flight leaves in about an hour but we're just walking around Changi International Airport and I just want to give a shout out to this airport. This is one of the, probably one of the world's best airport. I think it was rated as the world's best airport but not only do they have fantastic places to sit and relax uh, but they also have an entertainment facility, they have sports lounges, they have, what else did I see? There's a playground for kids, there's these awesome <laughs> strollers for Micah. Micah is loving it. It's like being in a fancy giant cross between a mall and a hotel here. And yeah, this is, if you're gonna have a layover anywhere or if you're gonna spend some time at an airport, this is the type of airport you wanna be at. What other airport do they have free leg massage chairs? Okay, now to figure out how to turn this on. Vibration. Oh yeah. Low, high, heat. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, that kind of hurts. That kind of hurt, but it felt amazing at the same time. Thank you very much. And we are flying just normal economy class. They give you a, a blanket to begin with. And a couple of the benefits of flying with a baby. Number one is that you get to board early. And then number two, we got the, the seats right here in the front. So have some nice, semi-nice uh, leg space. So we're flying from Singapore to Bangkok. It's going to be an hour and 49 minute flight. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We're getting ready to take off now. They've given us a, a hot towel. Gentlemen, right now we are serving brunch. We have uh, the nasi lemak and we would like to uh, try the eggs. The eggs made the uh, pork sausage. So, can I have some coffee also? Yep, sure. Our flight left at 9.30 a.m. so we're being served brunch on this flight and it's just a, a little under a two hour flight. So they had two different things to choose from. One was eggs and sausage and then one was nasi lemak and nasi lemak is one of the classic uh, Malay dishes. So we got one of each to, to try and share. All right, Singaporean style nasi lemak. There's the, the coconut rice, the peanuts with anchovies, I'm not sure fried fried something and then some some eggs over here and then over on this side this is a it almost looks like a quiche egg and then sausage and potatoes and then there's also some fruit on the side here Ying is not feeling so well so she's not very hungry so I actually get two trays to myself so I'm gonna start with the, the nasi lemak here and there's there's looks like there's two types of different omelet Whoa, oh no, it's a triple, it's a triple layer. And I will try some of this with some of the rice and I have to get some of the, the anchovies in this bite as well to get the full nasi lemak experience in this single bite. Oh no, I don't think it's possible on this small of a spoon. Okay. Definitely not the best nasi lemak I've ever had. Actually, it is pretty fragrant. You can really taste the coconut milk. The, the peanuts are a little bit spicy with the, those dried fish. That's like kind of a spongy, spongy feeling omelet. But maybe that's fish cake in the middle there too. Oh yeah, but it tastes good to, to eat some of those, those peanuts with that ikan bilis. And what's this? Oh, I think that's fried chicken. Okay, moving over to the other entree egg it looks like yeah it does look like quiche it's like an egg a egg cake with some of the sausage oh that's not bad I 
think there's some spinach and some vegetables within the, the egg. And that's just sort of like a solid block of egg. But that's one of the better pieces of egg that I've had on an airplane. Usually egg can taste a little bit weird on an airplane, but this is, this is pretty good. And then that's like a, a nice herb sausage. Um, there's a little dish of fruit. There's some pineapple, some melon, some watermelon, and grapes. And then for drinks, I got coffee. Coffee is okay. Um, it's a very dark roast, um, but the, the, the strength is okay. And then I also got uh, soda water. Brunch on Singapore Airlines is over, and I have to admit, neither of the dishes really looked impressive. They didn't really look that good but they both kind of came through. They were both kind of tasty, actually. The omelet was good, and then for the nasi lemak, the, the peanuts and the anchovies with the sambal, that was, that was good. And then for dessert, we got ice cream, a mini, a mini almond. Oh, this is a magnum. Is it a magnum? Oh, oh so it is pretty mini. Oh, this is bite-sized, Micah. Bite-sized. That is rock solid. Thank you. We just landed in Bangkok. That was a great flight with Singapore Airlines. I think what really stands out with Singapore Airlines is the, the service and the hospitality. They're really top notch when it comes to service. The food on this flight was okay. Yeah, I think it actually tasted better than it looked. And then the comfort we kind of had an older plane on this trip, uh, but that's probably because it was a pretty short flight. I've been on some Singapore Airlines flights that were really new, really nice planes, so we were, it was a little bit of an older, older plane. The TVs didn't really work so well, uh, but that's okay. Again, it was a short flight. Overall, I think Singapore Airlines is one of the best airlines you can fly. Um, with a great combination, especially service and pretty good food. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And click subscribe for lots more travel reviews. I'm gonna be reviewing apartments and hotels and airplanes and travel things. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.